come out. How many of you know we're going to have to have people that God will raise up who will be able to write out checks for $10,000, for $50,000, for $100,000, yay, for a million dollars. God's going to have to raise up end time financiers. You say, Brother Strula, there's no hope of me ever having that. Help yourself. Go on, go on, go on, help yourself. Go on, help yourself. The Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. You think you're going to always be poor? You think you're never going to have anything? You think you're never going to be able to do something great for God? Help yourself. But I've got news for you, brother. God's not dependent on General Motors to write out your paycheck. He said, I will open the windows of heaven. I, I, the Lord your God, who said, let there be light, and there was light. Come on, can you take this tonight? Do you want it? That's the question. Do you want it? Do you want it? You better get ready because I'm anointed. I'm anointed. I didn't intend to preach this all to you. I intended to talk to you for five minutes, but I'm anointed of the Holy Ghost. There's an anointing here to break the chains of financial bondage and set you free and for God to raise you up into a financial dimension you've never experienced. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. How many of you know God has a plan? A financial plan. Come on as well as a salvation plan, as well as a healing plan, as well as a deliverance plan. God has a financial plan. The Bible is full of God recording his financial plans as he manifested them in the lives of his people. Don't you let the devil intimidate you tonight. You tell him to get on his side of the line. I'm going to get God's blessing tonight. Yes, if you really want out of debt, I want you to say, God, I want out of debt this year. This year. This is the year. That's why God gave me the scripture, Malachi 3, 10 and 11. This is the year for you to get out of debt, to get the blessing of God, to receive his blessing so there'll be no room to receive it. <laughs> now watch this. Peter said to Jesus, we have left all and followed you. And Jesus answered and said, verily, I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house Brethren, sisters, father, mother, wife, children, lands, for my sake, and the Gospels. But he shall receive 
a hundred fold. A hundred fold. In this time, in this life, now, he said, houses, brethren, sisters, mothers, children, and lads.